Hey guys, thanks for joining me and welcome back. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how I created this cute 3D wall art. This was designed for young girl. And I just wanted to share with you all how quick and easy this was. This was really fun to do. So this came out really nice and I think I wanna look into creating more 3D art. But anyway guys, thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. Thank you to my subscribers who always come through and watch the videos, leave wonderful comments. Guys, thank you so much for doing that. And if you are watching and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So guys, I'm gonna get right into how I made this beautiful 3D art. So I'm gonna start with the picture frame that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And I picked this up last year, guys. This was part of um, a haul that I did. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna paint this frame. I'm gonna paint it silver, but I'm just gonna darken the silver paint a little bit with uh, just a drop of black paint and just to make it not so bright and vibrant. So yeah, so I'm gonna paint that really quickly. I'm gonna let that dry for two hours and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna paint it again. So next, what I'm going to do with the frame is I'm going to attach the command strips on the back. Now these are the command strips that don't damage your wall when you remove them. So yeah, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna show you how I use it on a thin frame. So what I'm going to do is take two of the strips and I'm going to cut each one of them in half. So you see how thin the frame is in the back? By cutting the command strip in half, I'll have um, just the right amount of width so that it doesn't hang over the edge. So right now I'm just gonna clean off the frame and I'm going to remove the part of the command strip that has the red paper on the back. That part goes against your project and then the side of the command strip with the black writing, that goes against the wall. So it's actually very simple and easy to use. It tells you uh, on each side what it's for. So where it has the black writing, it says for the wall. Yeah, so I'm just going to uh, put this on and I'm gonna move on to the next step. So after I put the command strips on, I just went back in and I sealed in the glass with a little bit of hot glue. And if you want guys, you can use a stronger glue if you like, just make sure it um, will hold your project together over a long period of time. So this is going to be sufficient and this will hold the glass in place. So right here, I'm just removing those pieces of the frame 
that holds the glass into place. I don't need those. So now that that's done, I'm going to start working on the letter. So the letter is D and the D is for Deirdre. So this particular D is made out of wood and it has lights on it. And yeah, so I'm going to use that to trace out the letter D and then I'm going to cut it out. After I cut it out, I'm going to use a nail buffing block and I'm just going to smooth out all the edges around the D. So right now I'm going to flip it over to the white side and I'm going to take this copper colored paint and some white paint and I'm going to mix those two together to create a very light rose gold color. So now that that's done, this is what that looks like. So right here, I'm going to use this champagne colored diamond wrap and I'm going to use a single strip of that. I'm going to apply that to the outer perimeter of this letter and I'm also going to use that wrap in the inside of the letter. So now that that's done, I'm going to use a little bit of tacky glue and sparkling clear glitter and I'm just going to thin out the clear tacky glue a little bit. I'm just going to put it in this container with a little bit of water, just a little touch of water. I'm going to blend the two together till it's nice and smooth and I'm going to use that as my adhesive and it's just really thin and it just applies very easy. It's very thin and it's smooth but it's still very sticky. I'm going to use that to apply the clear sparkling glitter. and I let this dry for another hour. So right here guys, I'm gonna show you how I seal the glitter to the letter. I just used a little bit of my clear hairspray. This is the Got To Be Glue Glam Force. Honestly guys, I've been using this now for the past year and a half. This works very well at sealing glitter onto your project. What makes this art 3D guys, is that everything that I'm going to create the wall art is going to be applied on top of the glass. So 
So right here I'm going to use some medium sized roses that I picked up from Michaels and I just removed all the stems and some of the leaves. So I'm just going to use three medium sized roses. I'm going to use the green leaves that came with them as well. So I'm just going to start to adhere them to the top of the glass. So right here are some sparkling glass beads that I picked up from Michaels a couple of years ago. I'm going to remove some of them from the string and I'm just going to apply this as the final accent to the project. I'm just going to hot glue some of these along the actual glass and I'm also going to use some inside the roses. So it looks really, really, really nice. And I think that you're not getting a good shot of how this looks, guys. But you definitely will see the final project in a better lighting. And this looks absolutely beautiful. Guys, this was so easy to make and I just used some items that I had in my home. So right here, I'm just cleaning up any glue strings, any glitter that may be still attached to the glass. And I'm gonna put it up on the wall and show you all what that looks like. And I absolutely love the way this looks, guys. This is absolutely beautiful. Guys, I'm gonna thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate you watching the video. I appreciate your wonderful comments. Thank you so much again. Guys, please don't forget to thumbs up this video. And please don't forget to subscribe, take care of yourselves, stay blessed, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.